allows people a release for all the hatred and violence if they keep up inside them. Why don't you guys kill someone tonight? Because we don't feel the need to, Johnny. Just remember all the good the purge does. We'll be fine just like always, no worries, okay? This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all emergency services will be suspended for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. Help me! Someone, please, help me! I just need to get someone safe. Does anybody hear me? Let him in our home. We have no idea who's after him. Our target for this year's purge is hiding in your home. You have one hour to find him and give him to us, or we'll kill all of you. They can't get in here, right? They can't get into our home. What's that, Ange? Watch the purge. <laughs> oh, you're doing the purge. Hi, welcome to being us about movies. With special guest Angelo the dog, <laughs> who's in a rare form tonight. This is Sam. And Becca. We're trying to watch True Detective because we're a couple years behind. <laughs> my wife fell asleep. My dog, our dog, woke us up. Woke me up mm -hmm. three times. One time he went out in the woods and I had to follow him without shoes on on a spirit quest. <laughs> As he looked for, I don't know what. He said the voices made him do it. Then he barked nonstop and I thought he was dying. He's Truth fine. was, it was his dinner time. And <laughs> he was just telling you. He says, my He's mom He's barking was. at those potato chips. That's what he was barking at. He knows. He's smart. <sighs> Anyways. People say he's going blind. I just don't think that's no, true. <laughs> he's not going blind. He's aging, not aging at all. <laughs> oh, he's Benjamin What's Button. What's he behind his ear there? A little so fuzz. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. From burying his face into the couch. Mm -hmm. Throwing himself into things. Yes. Went to the bathroom several times a day. Very regular little dog. <laughs> That's our dog update. If you're a listener and you want to know about Angelo the dog, he's doing well. <laughs> he's a little grumpy. He's staring laser-like intensity on a bag of potato chips. <laughs> Also, there's another dog that lives behind the door inside the mirror. <laughs> He'd like to know how that dog got here. And why is he my twin? <laughs> when is that dog? What is his name? <laughs> when, is, when does the purge begin so he can kill that dog? So we watched... That's Martin. We watched the Martin. Dog. <laughs> we watched the purge last night. We're getting yes. ready to watch the purge, too. So you get a twofer. Yeah. And then when the third one comes out in July... Yeah. We will, uh... Fourth of July. Maybe we'll put these all, toge up. all together. No, I'd no. rather have it. Separate episodes. Ah! Yeah. And just like, no, don't do stuff that far in advance. <laughs> That's how stuff gets screwed up. <laughs> Come on, brah. <laughs> so we watched The Purge. Yes. It's by James DeMonico. Yes. Uh, actually, ah! if you go to... Uh, Universal Studios, they have a purge horror maze. Why would you want to do that? The Halloween Horror Nights where you get... Where the Halloween is when you get chased by Michael Myers. Yeah, everybody knows the purge is on March 21st. Is it? It lasts from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's one night before the spring equinox. It's symbolic of eliminating the old or renewing what remains. It's a party to kill all the homeless people. That's what I got it out is. of it. It is, yeah. Uh... That's how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, 
The Purge. James DeMonaco uh, wrote and directed it. He did the second one, too. Uh He also did The Negotiator. Uh The remake of Assault on Precinct 13. He wrote the screenplay. Uh Wrote the screenplay for Skinwalkers. Uh, He wrote the uh, Crash, the TV series. As a director, he's got four credits. Uh, Little New York and the Three Purge movies. And just like, yeah, you're limiting yourself, bro. (laughs) You've only done the Purge movies. And just come on. Be a little nicer about the Purge. He says, you know what, he, he told me what he's doing for the purge. What's he doing for the purge? Him and a few friends mm-hmm. from the neighborhood. Yeah. The Chihuahua down the street. Yeah. Tinkerbell. He yeah. invited Lulu. She's going to get back to him if she's going to participate or not. Oh. <laughs> but first, they're going to Century 3 to raid the Petco. Hmm. So, what is it called when you... You know, smashing the windows, what's that called? Wilding? Looting? Yeah, looting. They're going to loot the Petco. <laughs> then they heard there's a Chinese buffet down there. They're going to break it and steal all the food. Just this week, a kid killed someone and blamed it on the purge. Did he? He said he got the idea from the movie. That's what I'm saying. These movies are a bad idea. No, they're not. They're good for entertainment value, but you know there's some asshole out there. So there's a thing called Cryptia? Takes it secretly. Which was an annual event which members of the ruling class of Sparta were permitted to kill members of the subjugated population without criminal or civil liability. Mm. Also, a lot of people say this movie is just a ripoff of the Star Trek episode, The Return of the Archons, in which an otherwise, otherwise placid society is allowed a pre-scheduled 12-hour period of lawlessness and violence. Mm. Yeah. So the first purge, not well thought of. Yeah, and ah! said... Maybe make a movie yourself. See how hard it is. <laughs> Stars Ethan Hawke. Lena Headey. She played ah, Mary Sandine. Ah. Mm-hmm. She's, uh... She was the queen of Sparta. So we got ah. the Spartans in the 300. I was gonna say, I think she's in something. And ah. she's, uh, one of the Lannisters on Game of Thrones. She was, uh, Sarah Connor on the, uh, Sarah Connor. The TV series version. Mm. Adelaide Kane played the daughter. Max Burkholder played Charlie, the uh, kid. He's on he's Parenthood. He's kind of cute. He's strange, but he's cute. You thought he was cute? I think he could be. Like that picture there. Yeah. Him. He's much cuter. Edwin Hodge played the stranger. Yes. He's the only actor to appear in all three of the purges. Is he? Yep. Look forward to that. Yeah, he plays the stranger is his name. Um... Tony Aller was Henry. Mm-hmm. There was the Farrens, the Halversons, Polite Leader, one, two, and three. Rise Wakefield played Leader One. Mm-hmm. He is was the kid who uh, did most of the talking. He was pretty good in it. He was. Yeah, he's in he the He kind of reminded me of when you saw a young Marilyn Manson without face makeup on. Yeah. Did you get that? He too? won a Freight Award for Best Supporting Actor for that. Yeah, and uh, he's mostly been in Australian shows. Is he Australian, though? Yes, he is. Good day, Uh, mate. Oh, bar. Put some bottled on the bobbit. (laughs) I don't know. What accent was that? That was the same accent. (laughs) Oh. Tony Aller played Henry. He uh, was in The Purge. Um, (laughs) That's about it. Uh, There was one guy you said it was in something else, too. That you recognized. Which part did I say that? The one of the the people that lived in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. He said, oh, he's in something else. I'd have to see him again. All right. Well, there you go. Um, Ethan Hawke, though. Uh, I know lots of movies he's in. Spoiler warning, Ethan Hawke has a new role. He's in the first shitty version before the second one's better and he gets killed in the first one. Uh-huh. He always looks like he has a fart in him. Look at that picture. He's like, Poof. excuse <laughs> me, everybody. He was in Explorers. He was in Taking Lives. Dead Poet Society. He was in Great Expectations. Reality Bites. Yes. Training Day. Yes. 
Assault on Precinct 13. Yes. Sinister. Yes. Yeah. He uh, was born in Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, he, what else can I tell you about him? He's directed stuff. He was married. Wasn't he married to Uma Thurman? I do believe yeah. he was. But he's got frosted tips in that picture. He looks, I love well, to give my husband frosted tips. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I only tips I like are tender tips. Tender tips from authors. Yeah. He is married to he was married to Uma Thurman. Yeah, they have he a met baby. on the set of Gattaca. Yeah. They have Maya Maya and Le- Levon. Mm-hmm. Separated in two thousand three amid allegations of Hawk's infidelity. Oh. He's married for a second time to what Ryan Shawhughes, who was his nanny. Before uh, graduating from Columbia University, despite speculation about the relationship, he said, My first marriage disintegrated to many pressures, none of which were remotely connected to her. They have two daughters. They have two daughters. Clementine right? Jane and Indiana. Mm-hmm. She looks a lot like, uh, what's her name? The girl who was on the Blink 182 cover of the porn star. Um, it starts with a J, Janine. Janine Linda Miller. Yeah. Yeah. She looks a lot like her in the face. Have you seen what that lady looks like recently? You mean Linda Miller? Yes. She was in jail for a long time. She looks horrid. Well, she's she in drugs. Drugs. She was in jail. She was married to Jesse James. I didn't know you were Jesse James. Ethan you Hawk. look like him. No, I don't look anything <laughs> like do. him. I don't look anything like him. Oh, baby. Whatever works for me. If, uh, <laughs> Ethan Hawk is a longtime supporter of the Doe Fund, which helps homeless people Im- obtain housing and employment. Mm-hmm. He was a co-chair of the New York Public Library, mm-hmm. uh, and he uh, does a lot of. He's a lab on the board of trustees. Terrific, I can't remember yeah. word. Yeah, uh, he was in Quiz Show. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else. What would we care about? Waking Life, which I do like. Have you ever seen that? Mm-mm. It's real good. He was the voice of Godzilla Junior on Robot Chicken. <laughs> How funny is that? He's in the new Total Recall and the director's cut only. He was in the TV series for Moby Dick. Mm-hmm. He was in Boyhood. Yeah. Nominated for a lot of awards for that. Um, that's that one they filmed over a period of like 20 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's in The Magnificent Seven. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's in a movie called Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. It's an upcoming English language French science fiction movie directed by Luc Besson, based on Valerian and Loreline, the uh, Japanese comic. I mean, the uh, French comic book. Yeah. Holy cow, that movie is going to be crazy. Yeah. Because, you know, Luc Besson, Clive Owen's in it. I like him. Yeah. Uh, Rihanna, Rihanna uh, wow. John Goodman, Herbie Hancock, Rooker Har. Holy shit, I want to see this movie and I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Uh, it just started filming uh, a couple months ago. I don't think it'll do well. Yeah. But we'll like it. I think we'll like it. You know what? I like almost everything Luke Brisson's done. Yeah. I mean, he did The Fifth Element. Yes. And, uh... That's one of the best movies. Yeah, and everything he's done is just a little little goofy. Okay. So, I'm a big fan of that. Um, so that was the first purge. I would give it a C minus. I give it a C. I think there was a lot of good science fiction in it, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of stuff that's set up. I'm like, oh, this is good. Like the beginning, seeing all the scenes of the kills, and in the mm-hmm. end when you could hear the people talking about the things on the purge. Yeah, I like that stuff. I like the part with him talking through the door to the kid. That was mm-hmm. really creepy and well done. But then it kind of dis- it, here's the problem. And then what- Mark Wahlberg. Fear effect. <laughs> Let me in the house. <laughs> John Carpenter talked about this. Is the the minute that you show the monster is when the generally except that's why he made his monsters look so good. But generally, when you take out the tension and the monster is in the house, I'm or, not knowing. So, and yeah, the not knowing is the best part. Mm-hmm. Everything before they came in the house mm-hmm. was pretty good, but once the house got opened up, it got real formula. That was when it was just, we know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, I liked, like, the family deciding about whether or not to give the guy up. Like, there was a lot of good stuff to that. And then it just became, like, an action movie. Um, and it's pretty good acting, though. Yeah, it was it was good. Um, it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It, but I think 
they had to make this one so they can make the other one. The other one. I remember when the second purge came up, people were like, nobody liked the purge. Yeah. But I guess they did. Mm-hmm. So, because, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So the second one uh, is, we're going to watch now, is the Purge Anarchy. Yeah. Uh, this one has a whole bunch of different people. Edwin Hodge again, the only person to be in it. This movie is met with mixed reviews. Most critics agree it is an improvement over the original. It did really well. While the first was set in one house, this is set in Los Angeles mm -hmm. to show what happens during the purge. This movie was made for about eleven million and made a hundred and eleven million. So guess what? They're gonna make thousands of these movies. Mm -hmm. Frank Grillo is in it. He uh, is in a bunch of stuff. <laughs> he uh, played Crossbones in the uh, new Avengers movie. He was in End of Watch. Mm -hmm. uh, he was on Guiding Light. Yeah. Frank Grillo. Frank Grizzo! <laughs> uh, Carmen Ijuju. She's in a bunch of What's the Worst That Could Happen. Uh, she's a black actress. Zach Guilford plays Shane. He was Matt on Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. I think he made this movie really cheap. Kylie Sanchez is in it. I think she's in the new one. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see. I don't know any of these people. Who's in the new one? Oh, the new one has Frank Grillo in it again, too. The, uh, well, the Sakura one. Kyle Sakura. Oh. Who's that? If you look up his picture, you know who he is. He was in an untamed heart. Uh huh. Okay. He's, a He's on Homicide Life in the Streets. Yeah, you Bay know Lives. him. Uh, you recognize him. So let's see a little bit of uh, this purge. Uh, did, as I said, really well. Mixed reviews. Gritty, grisly, and uncommonly ambitious. Mm -hmm. It's a slight improvement. It's never as smart as it tries to be. Mm -hmm. um, again, this movie was also a scare zone. <laughs> A scare zone. There's an internet movie firearms database. That's, does your dad do that site? It's yes. a site to tell you what guns were used in movies. A lot of times I don't even pay attention to that stuff because I feel like they're made up weapons. A lot of movies. I pay attention to it. I know you do. You're a boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here's, uh, yeah, so um, Zach Guilford and Keely Sanchez yeah. play a married couple. Married couple in real life. The Purge is the day before the spring equinox. Spring is a symbol for rebirth or cleansing, which is the purpose of the Purge. Oh. The sergeant's name, not heard in the film, is Leo Barnes. Majority of the character's dialogue, including his backstory, were cut in post-production. Mm. So it's a figure it out for yourself movie. <laughs> yeah. At a point of the movie is... Or wait, at a point of the movie is mentioned 2023 as the sixth annual purge in the USA. Mm -hmm. This establishes 2018 as the first purge. Oh. But it said 2022 in the movie yesterday. Yeah. They need to get their effects together. I mean, if you're going to... Oh. I want continuity. <laughs> uh, scenes from the first film can be seen during the credits as archive footage. Did I tell you a story about if... Um when Marvel first started. Yeah. If Stan Lee and like Stan Lee was like kinda sorta writing like eight books a month, Jack Kirby was doing four books a month. So they would make a lot of mistakes because mm -hmm. they were doing so much work. So they did have a thing called no prizes. Mm -hmm. So if something happened in the book that was wrong, you couldn't just tell, write him a letter and tell him it was wrong. Mm -hmm. You gotta tell him why it was wrong. Ooh. So that's where the joke from In Avengers comes from mm -hmm. where Captain America jumps out of the plane without a parachute. Because yeah. in one of the issues, he jumped out of play without a parachute, and someone said, hey, Jack Kirby forgot to draw the parachute, but I guess Captain America is so tough, he doesn't need a parachute. Mm -hmm. So you want a note prize. Do you know what a note prize was? What? You got an envelope. <laughs> Nothing inside it. It said, congratulations, your note prize is inside, and Stan Lee would sign your envelope. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, but they would always I have those, it. and like they would tell you like what different things got voted on. and so. This is kind of interesting. Okay. The Purge starts on March 21st, yeah. as in 
Three, two, one, purge. Oh. oh, purge. That changes everything. Purge. We had the purge happen to us tonight. My wife and I were talking about it. It did. On the way to, to get According to, to the Dravosburg Fire Department. And, and as, thank God it didn't happen as we were talking because I would have gone back in the house. Mm -hmm. And I would have activated our security system. What? Poked the dog? Yes. Teen is our security system. Teen's like, what are you doing for the purge, Teen? He's like, I already told, told you. you. I already told He's you. I'm going to Petco. I'm going to Petco with my girlfriend. To steal all the outfits. How many girlfriends does Angela have? Three, at least three. three. Mm -hmm. How many little Angelas are running around the world? I don't want to know. Dozens. My grandma to 500. Dozens. <laughs> Dozens. He didn't lose his balls till he was around four. So that is four years of. Four years of just pounding. Then <laughs> dog pounding. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that's disgusting. He made, yeah. love. he made love. He made sweet puppy love. He made sweet to, love. To the many dogs. The many women. He said. He says, in some nights I was... Oh, he said, in, in some nights he was drunk, so he doesn't know if it was a boy or a girl. He doesn't. He never said that. He did, too. He never said that. He said he'd be fine with it, and that's not... Uh, Out of his... <laughs> Yeah, he said, you know, that's fine. Uh, whatever is cool for you. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he said he believes that they were all girls. Go close up to his face so you can hear this good snoring. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, sleeping, huh? Got a little too close. If you like this movie, here's what other movies you'd like. You ready? Mm hmm. The Purge, Sinister, Annabelle, The Conjuring. Well, they just look up the movies that Carrie, I watch. Carrie, As Above, So Below, Cabin in the Woods, The Hills Have Eyes, <laughs> Insidious, Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. This is the one from 2009. I never saw that one. Did you ever see that one? What? The 2009 Friday no. the 13th. Actually, I saw part of it. It was stupid. I really don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. Mama and mm -hmm. Oculus. The worst movie ever. So here's the story, by the way. Yeah. Teen blames the purge after arrest for multiple murders. What year? When was this? This is June 2nd, 2016, this week. Really? As controversial as the purge has always been, the world has thankfully been spared from stories from impressionable copycats, at least until tonight, as a 19-year-old Indiana has committed several crimes, including murder and kidnapping, and he's referenced the film uh, Jonathan Cruz, uh, did these acts between May 12th and 15th before he was arrested, the 16th for an, unarrest, for an unrelated case. He uh, confessed to a witness he was purging in the vein of the fictitious crimes in the movie, as well as reference to film and text messages to friends and family uh, who he was looking for help uh, after he did this. He wanted people to purge with him. He, I think he was like, hey, hey, I'm purging. Come on out and let me purge. The Purge 3 was inspired by Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, so they say. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, uh, let's see some stories in 2015 about the purge. Uh, no one really saying. Uh, purge three completely changed directions. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted uh, without Frank Grillo. They say that the uh, purge three may have never happened. But we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to the actual purge. Uh, this was in both the most entertaining movies, 2014, and the worst movies of well, 2004. We'll be the judge of that. We will be the judge of that. It was uh, number 10 in the most Facebook movies of 2014, maybe because I kept asking people, what are you doing for the purge, bro? Mm -hmm. um, when uh, there have been numerous reports of kids posting that they were going to do a purge on Facebook. Yeah. And people get all freaked out. Yeah. I didn't believe them. No. I originally thought this was just a movie of a supermodel throwing up mm -hmm. for 10 minutes. Baby. 
But it's not. It is about uh, a purge. Yeah. I could see this happening. This movie feels like it could happen. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say before we begin watching The Purge Anarchy? I'm going to purge my husband. <laughs> what are you talking about the purge? I know. I'm going to... Uh, Ding. I'm going to do stuff. <laughs> it's possibly illegal stuff. Yeah. You have a dishwasher again. I know. <laughs> the dishwasher's hooked up. The plugs are coming. <laughs> Our kitchen, uh, in case you've been listening to the show and care about these things, I think they do. I think people are like, I think they're sitting there like, how's I Sam and Becca? How's, how's, their kitchen? how's their kitchen doing? I think they're listening to For these For a long episodes. time, it was what kitchen? I would, I, here's what I want. What? I want to go to Wikipedia someday, put me of our show, and someone has taken the time to index every episode. Mm-hmm. And like in this episode, Sam and Becca talk about it's the first episode they talk about plugs, plugs. <laughs> and that, that actually is a carryover from their other podcast, mm-hmm. The People versus AJ Simpson. I don't think you people care You can also that much. <laughs> hear Becca's new podcast coming soon, Murder She Watched. Yeah, coming soon. Uh, Angela, Murder the, She Watched, and the husband she made watch it with Angela, her. Angela the dog first appeared on the podcast, Counting the Lights, uh-huh. where he would bark until Noah yelled at him. Noah is the brother of Sam who no longer appears on podcasts. Mm-hmm. We could get him back. I tried to get him to watch. Say, will you watch? Oh. He says no. <laughs> he used to do reviews for a site. Yeah. What did he re- review? He reviewed There Will Be Blood. It's one of my all time favorite reviews. What is it? The movie There Will Be Blood? I don't know that. No, it's a long historical epic thing. How did he review it? Yeah. He reviewed Sweeney Todd and he didn't know it was a musical until it started. Why? Who asked him to review Kingdom these? Would, Kingdom would send him to movies. Oh. And then he would review them. He would only watch Mike Miley Cyrus movies. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So, we should ask him to review a movie for us. Mm-hmm. He has seen a few movies. Hey, well, Noah. He's seen a few. Yeah. If you want to talk like Game of Thrones or Better Call Saul, he can do that kind of stuff mm-hmm. with you. You gotta start this movie, baby. It's getting late. It's getting late. It's eleven twenty-seven on a school night. We're kids. Yeah, gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be at school tomorrow at nine. I know. Tomorrow's I mean, early. We have our week assembly. We I know. To get together, new kids start tomorrow. You know, the most boring assembly, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> so bad. Every day we have the same meeting. Every day, the same people come. Every day, the same people say the same things. Yeah. Yeah. I just sit. I just sit. Slowly, inexorably, parts of me die. Mm -hmm. As I look into these people's eyes and see no soul looking back at me. And they say, It sounds like Charlie Brown's parents talking to me. And I say, Uh huh. Yeah. And they say, Wah, 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 wah. And I say, Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Uh-huh. Wah, wah. I'm going to get coffee now. Wah, wah. No, I really need coffee. But I don't drink coffee. You should start. What's that dog doing? I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh-huh. I'll play it loud, though, so maybe it's funny. Never saw it. Oh, gotta pause it. In case you didn't, what's that have to do with the purge? I don't know. That was a dog singing "Hello" by uh, Adele. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Adele on the purge. That's the only person you're after. I know. I really think there'd be a lot of guys who'd be like, you know what? What? We should kill Adele. My ba- baby can leave the ba- the bandwagon. I don't think I'd want to kill a doll. No. I just like. No, I can't. I I think I would not want to give on on the purge. I don't feel those kind of emotions. Like I hate everything. <laughs> but, but you like living that way. I like yeah. it. Feels me. I'm yeah. only I'm motivated to destroy, or crush my enemies. Hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> That's what they asked Conan in the beginning. Conan, Conan, what is best? To destroy your enemies, to crush them beneath your feet, to hear the lamentations of their women. That's what Conan says is best in life. Mm-hmm. Who am I to deny him? 
No. So Ethan Hawk Can started the trend <laughs> of sleeping with your nanny. The Jude Law followed. Mm-hmm. Robin Williams already did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's the thing. Guys are... It, you know, you don't have to be a hot nanny. Mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, they're like, it looks like a big fat guy in your house. <laughs> and Arnold's like, I'm going to fuck that. Baby. Because I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, and I just, the world's mine. I have a tank in my house. I drive around a tank and shoot stuff with it. If, if I want to sleep. It sounded like this. This is the way the inner mom said. If I want to sleep with a German woman, I will. <laughs> She's Spanish, Mexican, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Uh, they want the air! Give them the air. Give them the air! Get your ass to Mars! Mars. <laughs> Get your ass to Mars! <laughs> Consider this a divorce! All my, all my Arnold lies are from Total, Total Recall. I think. Do you think that's his best movie? What would you, what would your Kindergarten what Cop. would your top five <laughs> Arnold movies be? Kindergarten Cop. Okay. Total Recall. Okay. Twins. Okay. Um. Commando. No. Uh, Conan. True Lies. Okay. And um, Terminator. Predator. Oh, I forgot. A five six. T- Terminator too. Yeah. Um, Conan. Yeah. Hercules in New York. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> um, what's another one he was? Oh, uh, Total Recall. Mm-hmm. I th- Running Man. Mm-hmm. I like uh, probably Predator the most. I think I like Twins the most. I, I only like her when he's killing things. Mm. I like him when he's dancing and being funny. You know, like when he's like, I'm not the butcher of Bakersfield. Yes. <laughs> Do you know how many Arnold things I say in daily conversation, I realize? How many? Because I always save the stuff for 75% me. 75% of your conversation. They are anytime on the phone when I'm like, I have some questions. They and I want them answered immediately. immediately. I say that a lot on the phone. And I say, uh, I'm a detective. And John Kimball. <laughs> I'm John Kimball. There's the one other one I always say, shit, I can't remember. Who is your daddy? Who's your daddy? Oh, and I go, because anytime someone doesn't answer the phone, mm-hmm. I go, you son of a bitch. Well, you say, what's his name? Dylan! Yeah. You son of a bitch. Predator. And I, and, uh, I, they say a lot of our own things. Mm-hmm. He's a big influence in my life. Yeah. He's a big influence in a lot of people. Yeah. I wonder what he would do for the purge. Oh, Arnold? Mm-hmm. He would kill everybody. I know. He would say, remember when I said I'd kill you last? Uh-huh. I lied. <laughs> and he drops you all by your foot. He's like, I have to save the girl from Who's the Boss, because she's my Alyssa daughter. Milano. John no. Matrix. And yes, in Commando. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. John Matrix. Yeah. His daughter. Well, here's the thing. No. I can't remember a single thing from high school. Yeah. I can't remember anything from work tomorrow. Yeah. What do you say? What's Arnold's name and Commando? John Matrix? Yes, I remember it. 100%. You remember what's important to you? I remember what's important to me. What's my middle name? Murray. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> testing. When's your birthday? May 1st. What year? 1984. What is. Mm. There's not much else you don't know. Or you would, you know. There's a lot about me you don't know. What was my maiden name? <laughs> Fed Ralph. You remember? Yeah. What? What's your mother's maiden name? You don't what know What's your social security number? <laughs> what's your date of birth? Mm-hmm. Let's just say it on the podcast. Or yeah. Nothing bad will come of that. We'll see we'll who's see, listening. We'll see who's listening. If, you know, that's credit okay. cards <laughs> opened up our names. I was like, fucking Rob Brown stole her credit card numbers. Either him or Chuck or... Uh, Andy Stoles. Andy Stoles. That's about it. Yeah. Three listeners. Yeah. Maybe we have more of them. It might be more. There's still Tina's information. Angela Panico. 
No, when so she died of creditors called and said, we're looking for the bean. <laughs> we're looking. For, we're looking for baby teen. We're looking <laughs> for a dog named, we're looking for little Angela Panico. He's, Will. He's 13 to 15 years old. We're not sure. <laughs> Found him in Monroeville. Mm-hmm. On the street. Tough turf. He's, uh, he owes several people some money. Mm-hmm. My wife is inspecting my face. Never a good sign. I saw something earlier. Oh. I think it's gone. Oh. Lucky yeah. for you, it's gone. Oh. We got single guys out there. Get married so your face can just constantly be assaulted. He has bumps and... Oh. I tried to take care of him. I'm his esthetician. What do we do do during the purge? Well, my wife's going to be squeezing my face all night. Yeah. So I can't come out for the purge. Okay. I wish. I think. Do you think Donald Trump's going to let us do the purge? Yes, I think that's his main. It's a great idea. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This is the worst election year ever. Yeah, that's why this movie's coming out. Oh, God. I don't want to get political, but I hate everybody. Yeah. I don't want to get hateful, but fuck everybody. Anyway. All right. Starting the purge. Tail. Anarchy. Anarchy. Can you step on it? It's getting late. I'm sorry. I'm so anxious. It's just tonight. We're going to be okay. Just like always. Whoa. No. No, this can't be happening. No one's gonna help us tonight. On. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. All emergency services will be suspended. Your government thanks you for your participation. So we just watched The Purge 2? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. It was. It's better it was, than the first one. It was more of an action movie than the first one. Mm-hmm. Frank Grillo was pretty much the Punisher. He was Eric Bana and... Who else did I say? I can't remember. Looks just like him. It was pretty much the Punisher. I've um, never seen that. Yeah. But, um... It's still good. Mm-hmm. Um... Some good photography in it. I, I like that it jumped into different stuff. Like, I like them being put into the situation where all the rich people paid money to get a chance to kill them easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that scene a lot. I like the uh, secret conspiracy guys showing up with the uh, bum from the first movie. Mm-hmm. He's here to save the day. Yeah. He's returning the favor. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That was about the only tie to the other movie other than The Purge. Yeah. But uh, also record numbers in Pittsburgh this year. That's what they said. <laughs> they must I been. was unaware. I was asleep during The Purge. <laughs> Do you think if you saw it in the theater, I people, we were went, napping. people went crazy in the theater? Yeah, those answers. <laughs> the only hard part about The Purge movies is every time someone says The Purge, you have to cheer. Yeah. And they say it a lot during the movie, so it's just crazy. I said that you have to cheer. You know, whenever they say the title of the movie. Uh, Remember? Yep. It's the rules of our of our show. I think it's only your rule. No, it's... No I one was, else does it. I think everybody... I want everybody to do it. Because not every movie it happens in. Yeah. There's a, most movies it doesn't happen in. Yeah. This movie, it happens throughout the entire movie. <laughs> Angelo, calm down, wants to kill and begin. He's only, he's the quietest when there's chaos. 
He said, oh, this is Music nice. Music my ears. This is nice. Gunshots. <laughs> this is nice. Mm-hmm. He uh, went to a crazy uh, party at a Mexican house where people were drinking pills and drinking and doing pills and stuff. and mm-hmm. This one, girl. Getting nutty. <laughs> yeah. And then turned out these sisters were like, one was cheating on the other, the other one. They were having a family fight. They kind of teased that with the other couple, the guy who got shot. Mm-hmm. Is he's like, you're gonna have to tell your sister. Well, and they he, theirs was just that they were gonna get separated. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I. You may have, <laughs> may have missed a little bit through. You may have dozed off in the beginning. But, but that's no indication of this movie. It's an indication of how tired I was. I would give this movie. A C plus. I give it a B minus. That's good. Yeah. I think it was much, much better than the last. Much more action packed than the last purge. Mm-hmm. Now, for the third time, they're going to get it right. I can't wait. I think uh, it's amazing that this movie made a whole lot of money. People, maybe nothing else good was out at the time. I mean, it made 111 million. That's not like a. Oh, I'll go see it. I guess. Shitty weekend movie. No, that's a good score. Yeah. It's, it's not like superhero blockbuster money, but this movie only didn't cost that much, and there's not really any stars in it. No, the only star I recognized was the grandfather. The well, character actor, I forget his name though. Oh. He's been in a ton of stuff. The one that sold himself? Yeah. Hmm. He was a general daughter. He was oh, a favorite of Becca. Yeah. I like whenever, like, that's like a movie she falls asleep to. A movie about a girl getting killed and, and raped. Yeah. I like to eat the best when there's chaotic situations. I can fall asleep to that better than quiet. Yeah, you're like, ah, oh, it feels so good. Uh-huh. It feels so nice. Murder. Oh, murder shows. Murder, death, kill. My baby puts on a 48 hours and dozes off. Yeah. Says, oh, this family. all the crabs in my dream. <laughs> I need something to start me off. It's like a total recall thing. I can't wait till we start the uh, Murder She Watch show because you've said some amazing things during those, and I can't wait. <laughs> I, as much as I love keeping our moments to ourselves, you want to share them? I ones? love sharing. The the wonderfulness of being with my wife. <laughs> the wonderfulness of her standing in front of a sheet screen saying pickles. Pickles. <laughs> sauce. Saying the things out loud what? excitedly to herself while she hits the button. I was hungry. No, but you get so excited. You're like, pickles. Pickles. <laughs> boom, thinking. boom, sauce. A mental, <laughs> no. a mental list. You don't get boom boom sauce. I don't want people to think that's what my wife likes. I don't know. It comes on the boom boom chicken though. It does. Mm-hmm. There's no choice about that. We watched uh, Miss America. Speaking Bird. of the purge, <laughs> it's kind of like the purge. They killed all the other ones that didn't win. We watched Miss America while we ate our sheets food. Yes. Pretty exciting. Yes. Well, that was the purge too. Anything else you'd like to say about the purge too? I'll be participating next year. In the purge? Yes. You know what? Why why do people not send Facebook things out whenever March twenty first comes? That is creepy. I'm ready for this year. Okay. Seven o'clock, I'll be like, Where am I dropping you off? Oh, I'll be at work. But you know what? What? I'm the only one there at seven o'clock. Shoot off the Southsiders from the window. No, there's like everybody I want to kill is like I go home at four thirty. So. <laughs> Seriously, four forty-five. There's certain people that start just loading their bags up, yeah. looking around and saying, "Can I get out of here?" And then they realize, yeah, they can. Four forty-five is right when my my day picks up steam. The middle of your day. It's like yeah, that's when I'm like, you know what? Now's the time to actually do some work. I'm out of meetings, ready to get stuff done. I'm. Two hours and 15 minutes away from the purge. Mm-hmm. You know if the purge was real, I'd be late coming home. I know. You like, it is 7.20. Where are you? The purge started. Maybe I stopped off at the comic book store. So no, I wouldn't stop at the change. comic book store. They're not open. No. They, they you would have stopped off at 
A gas station that got a snack. Everything was closed. Everything would be closed to the purge. I'd be stuck at work. My boss would be like, can you finish this tomorrow? But the purge is at 7. I, I know, but, you know, let's get a jump start on the day. And, you know, the purge isn't going to be this bad. It's a, they had record numbers in Pittsburgh. I'm telling you. Well, you're in West Mifflin. Yeah. That's Pittsburgh. I think we'd be safe in our neighborhood. Well, no. Because we're kind of, like, close to lower income. Yes, we'd be. They'd kill them. But I think if the uprising happened, we'd be fine because we wouldn't be. We'd have them all. <laughs> we wouldn't be rich enough mm -hmm. to be part of the uprising. Yeah. I mean, to be against the uprising, I think we'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And in a purge situation, I think we need to block our windows out in a purge situation. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, how about that dude? The drunk driver guy had better security than Ethan Hawke. Mm -hmm. I know this is a couple years later, and purge security has improved. But, I mean, he had a little tiny house, and he had, like, crazy doors and stuff. I don't know about this. Now, I zombie-proof this house. Now I got to purge-proof it? Yep. Did you pick your outfit out for the purge? It's leopard. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Are you going to bring Tina out? Yeah. He has a matching outfit. Oh, does he? His dog dresses a leopard. Oh. Do you think your dad would love the purge? Yes, I think he wants to do it now. <laughs> do you think he would be like, just like putting the guns on the table, shining them up, like yeah. five thirty, is just like clean, obsessively cleaning his gun? He'd just sit on his porch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think he would just shoot all the deer around him <laughs> because it's not illegal for uh, twelve hours, not even worry about the people? Do you think he would shoot a groundhog with a crossbow? Yes. Did he already do that? Yeah. <laughs> was that that was illegal? That was not a March twenty first thing. All right. Well, that's another episode of uh, BNS about movies. Thanks for uh, joining us. Yeah. Anything you'd like to add? Plug. You know, tell what's your plug? My husband. Oh. <laughs> Yes. I hope plug. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it sounded kind of creepy. It doesn't sound creepy when you say it. When you say it, it sounds charming and cute. When I say it, it's like... Oh. Oh. What do you think about Apocalypse choking that girl? Apocalypse. There's all this controversy. Because they put a billboard up of Apocalypse choking Mystique. And all these women are upset. Rose McGowan's upset about it. She has a shaved head now, too. Who? Rose McGowan. Oh. Because she won't be part of the beauty standards oh. uh, that the men put on women. Oh. Didn't she put her boobs in every movie? Yep. Right? Didn't she wear that dress to the MTV Awards, or did men make her do that? I'm not saying that's wrong. I think it is a ma male-driven society, and there's a lot of things wrong. But I think sometimes the wrong people point out things that aren't wrong. Oh. Does that make sense? So box. <laughs> Tell us your beef, Ray. If you do you have, do you agree or disagree with that? Let us know. You can reach us at b and s about movies at gmail dot com. You can reply on my Facebook page, um, or you can reply on our Podomatic page. If you found us through iTunes, it's b and s about movies dot podomatic dot com. If you found us through Podomatic, just look for us on uh, iTunes, or you can find past episodes that have been taken off our account because we have limited bandwidth. You can find them on YouTube, where we don't have limited bandwidth. A lot of plugs. My wife is already... Not yet. She's very close to sleep. This is my favorite time because she'll say funny things sometimes. Tell the people something. Um, make sure you brush your teeth. Yeah? Yeah. Before you go to bed. Did you brush yours? Yeah. That's good. How often should you, should you switch out your toothbrush? Every, I say every month and a half. I think you do it more than that. No. No? No. It depends on where I'm there. Okay. 
I think it's important that people that listen to the podcast have proper health. Thanks again for listening. And we'll see you at the movie.